This is an upper body workout designed to strengthen your back, chest, biceps, shoulders, and triceps. So if you're ready to tighten up those soft spots, let's get started. We're gonna get started today with the one arm row. You can do this standing in a staggered stance with one hand on your quad, your working arm dangles and comes up, or you can use a bench, or in this case, I'm using a jump box. So if you have a bench or a jump box or something to place your leg on, let's do that. Stepping your other leg back behind you, grabbing dumbbell in one hand, your other hand is on the bench for support. Your arm is gonna kind of dangle down, your abs are tight, your back is nice and flat. We're gonna bring that dumbbell up towards your chest. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job. We're gonna switch sides. Hand and knee on your bench. Working arm is dangling, abs are tight, back is flat. Pull it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job. You can rest it out for just a moment if you would like, or we're just gonna keep on moving. All right, get into position. Abs are tight, back is flat. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, one more, 10. Nice job. You can drop your weight, flip around. Abs are tight, back is flat. Take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, two more. Last one. Nice job. Drop your weight. We're gonna flip it around again. One more time through. Get into position, whether you're standing and using your supporting leg or you're using a bench. Abs are tight, back is flat. Take it up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job. Let's flip sides one more time through. Get into position, take it up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job, drop your weight and rest it out. Next up is the dumbbell pullover. You'll need one dumbbell. We're gonna lay back on the floor, feet on the floor, abs tight, back is pressed to the floor. So think about doing like a little pelvic tilt to get your back to the floor. Arms go straight up. We're gonna bring the dumbbell back behind our head. It can tap the floor or stop just before you tap it, it's fine. Let's go. Using your middle part of your back to lift that dumbbell back up overhead. There's two, three, four, Five, six, seven, 
eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job. You can bring the weight in and maybe just rest it on your chest or you can roll up whatever is comfortable for you. We're gonna do that two more times through. So again, make sure your lower back isn't pressing into the floor. Arms go up. Let's take it back. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Bring the dumbbell in, rest it on your chest or on the floor. We're gonna take a quick rest. We're gonna do that one more time through. So pressing your lower back to the floor, lift the dumbbell up overhead, take it back. Bring it up. There's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job. Bring the weight in, drop it off to the side, roll it up and rest it out. Up next is the banded lat pull down. So you can check the videos in the corners. You have two options. Actually, you have multiple options, but any, you just need any band that has that stretch to it. So you can use the circular one here or the skinny long one, um, any band that has that stretch to it. So I'm gonna use this one. You're gonna start off with your arms up top high, abs are tight, shoulders are pulled back. We're gonna squeeze our shoulder blades together as we pull the band apart and down towards our chest. We're gonna do 10 of these, let's go down. Really remember to squeeze your shoulder blades in the back. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job, rest it out. One thing I really like about these is that you can always move your hand in if that last set felt a little bit easy, which it did for me. So I'm gonna move my hands in a little bit closer. We're gonna do it again. Arms are up high, bring it down, squeeze. Really think about, squeeze those shoulder blades. There's three, four, five, six. Abs are tight, seven, eight, nine, one more. 10. Nice job. We're going to rest it out just for a second. Again, do you want to or do you need to adjust your band? Make it a little bit shorter or make it a little bit longer. Whatever works for you. All right. Arms are up high. Abs are tight. Shoulders pulled back. Let's go. Down and squeeze. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Nice job and rest it out. Next up is the hammer curl. You need two dumbbells standing nice and tall, shoulders pulled back, abs are tight, keeping your elbows close to your body. Let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job. Quick rest here. If you need a longer break, don't forget, hit that pause. All right, standing up tall, shoulders back, abs tight, let's go. One, two, really think about squeezing your bicep at the top. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job, quick break. Grab a drink if you need to. We're gonna keep moving. Arms by your side, shoulders pulled back. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job and rest it out. Next up are bicep 21s. We're gonna do seven reps of biceps low, then we'll take it up to the top half and then we'll do the full curl. So back of your hands facing your quads, elbows by your side. We're gonna just take it up halfway for seven. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, hold it in the center, seven, take it up, one, two, just halfway down, three, four, five, six, seven, take it all the way down, all the way up, one, two, three, four, make sure your elbows stay by your side, five, six, seven. Nice job, and rest it out. We're gonna do that two more times. So it's kind of like three exercises all in one. All right, back of your hand faces your quad, Our elbows are in by your side. Standing up nice and tall, abs are tight. Let's take it halfway up, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more. Hold it here. Take it up. Halfway down. Stop here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now take this one all the way down and all the way up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way down and rest it out. We're gonna do that one more time through. So make sure you take a deep breath. When you're ready, shoulders are pulled back, abs are tight. Back of your palm faces your quads, elbows by your side. Let's go halfway up, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, one more. Hold it here in the center, take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take it all the way down, all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, one more. Seven, all the way down and rest it out. Up next is the chest press. You'll need two dumbbells. We're gonna lay flat on the floor or you can use a bench if you have one. Arms are out wide. Back presses into the floor. We're gonna press this up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Bring your weights in, roll it up, rest it out. We're just gonna rest for just a moment. We're gonna keep moving. 
When you're ready, grab your dumbbells, lower on back, feet on the floor. Back presses into the floor, press it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job. Bring your weights in. Roll it up. Take a quick rest. Now when you're, when you're in the lowering position, you want to stop just before your arms hit the floor. All right? All right, so when you're ready, grab your dumbbells. Put it all the way back. Arms out wide. Lower back is pressing into the floor. Take it up. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job. Bring your weights in. Drop your weights. Roll it up and rest it out. Up next is the chest fly. You'll need two dumbbells. We're gonna lay back on the floor. Abs back, press into the floor. Arms go up. We're gonna take our arms nice and wide. Let's go. Let's keep the elbows bent, nice little bend. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, two more. One more, nice job. You can bring your weights in, you can rest them here, you can roll up, whatever you prefer. Uh, we're gonna do it again. So abs are nice and tight. Back is pressed to the floor. So really think about that pelvic tilt that will help press your lower back to the floor so you can't get your hand in between your back and the floor. Take the dumbbells up overhead. We're gonna make them nice and wide as we bring them down. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, one more. Nice job. Bring your weights in. You can leave them here or you can roll it up. We're just gonna take a quick break and then we're gonna do it one more time through. So when you're ready, grab your dumbbells. Back on the floor. Back, shoulders pressing into the floor. Arms go up. Let's go, take it wide. Elbows are bent, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job. Bring your weights in. Drop them and roll it up. Rest it out. For the shoulder press, you can do these seated or standing, whatever your preference is. It's easier to do these seated and stay in the camera. So I'm going to be seated, but honestly, this is how I would normally do it, is in a seated position. You'll need two dumbbells. We're gonna take those dumbbells so that our arms are parallel to the floor, abs are tight, our shoulders are pulled back. Let's press them up, let's go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job, bring your weights down. We're gonna rest for just a moment or two. Remember, hit the pause if you would like a longer break. When you're ready, take the weights back up into position, arms parallel to the floor, abs are tight, let's go. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job, bring your weights in. Let's rest it out. Now make sure you take enough of a rest. If you don't, you're gonna be really out of it by the time you get to the last few reps. And I want you to get good, three good sets in. So when you're ready, let's do it one more time through. Take your arms up, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job. Bring your weights in and rest it up. Next is the lateral raise, two dumbbells. We're gonna take these dumbbells up to about shoulder height and back down. Slight bend in your elbows. Let's go. One, two, abs are tight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job, rest it out. We'll do that two more times through. So standing up nice and tall, shoulders pulled back, abs are always nice and tight, even squeeze your butt. Take it up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job, rest it out. We've gotta do that one more time through. So make sure you take a nice break here. I know your shoulder's probably getting tired. All right, standing tall, abs are tight. Ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, 10. Nice job and rest it out. Next up is the tricep kickback. I like to do these in a lunge position with my hand on my quad, but you can lean it on a bench as well. Your working arm is gonna stay close to your side, pull it up so your elbow's pointing the back of the room, and we're gonna kick the dumbbell back behind us. Abs are tight, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job. We're gonna flip directions here. Hand on your quad, opposite arm up by your um, side. Let's kick it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job. Switch directions again. Get into your lunge. Abs are tight. Kick it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job. And switch. Abs are tight, back is flat, take it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job. Let's switch sides again. Last time. Hand on your quad, abs are tight, arm pulled back. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. And switch, last time through, abs tight, arm pulled back, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10, nice job, and rest it out. Next up are seated dips. You do not have to have a bench as deep as mine. I would recommend that your hands are elevated at least a few inches to give you some room to work, but you definitely don't need a bench or a jump box this tall. But you're gonna place your hands on a platform of some sort. Arms are close to your side. You're gonna step your feet out. The farther out your feet are, the harder it will be. So if you need to keep them in and bent, that's totally fine. You can do it right here with a bend in your knees, or you can make it more difficult. You can take your legs out straight a little bit farther, up to you. We're gonna do 10 of these, or as many as you can do. Let's go. Bending your elbows down. Two, you don't have to go down super far. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job, let's rest it out. Now you get to decide how deep you wanna go down. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. We're all gonna be at a different place in our journey. So do what is comfortable for you. Now, if you're not used to having your hand and your wrist in this position, they may get a little tired or sore. So roll them around a little bit. You can also push your fingertips back. This always helps me as well. But just be prepared that your wrist may be a little bit sore if you're not used to doing this movement. All right, we're gonna do it again. Hands kind of under your butt, then you're gonna lift your butt up and off your bench. Again, remember your knees can be bent and close to the bench or farther apart or farther out, whatever you choose, let's go. Down and up. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's rest it out. We're gonna do that one more time through. I know these are hard, so do as many as you can do, then rest, all right? Shake them out. We're gonna do that one more time. So hands kind of under your butt, lift your butt up off your bench or platform, walk your feet out, let's go. Down and up. Elbows should be pointing towards the back of the room. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Sit it back and rest it out. If you enjoyed this workout, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and leave me a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do that now so that you can continue building muscle and creating a body you love. I'll see you in the next video.